Hello. <laughs> Hello, Vix. Hello. How happy are you both to be in this video? <laughs> Not very. How much would you just like to be getting on with work? Yes. 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 Very okay. much so. Sorry, but thank you so much because this is just going to be really helpful, I think, for folks. So, would you be so kind to introduce yourselves? Uh, my name is Maggie. Hello. Hello. And your role? Uh, conveyancing. Yeah. And Vix? I am the developer, property okay. developer. Um, with a little quiet, soft voice today. Sorry. Yeah, I'm a bit tired. Yeah. And what have you guys been doing today? Um, we've been doing a key audit. Key audit. So talk me through, and if you don't mind, just because we've got some noise upstairs, talk me through the key audit, because um, this might be useful for people that haven't necessarily done a key audit or haven't thought through some of the implications. After you. Okay, so what we've been doing is we've got all the keys out of the boxes that we had before. These are the key boxes we use. Yeah. And then we were tagging them all up, and putting numbers on them. Okay, so just simple numbers. Okay. Putting them on the spreadsheet. Yeah, on the computer. Um, also taking a photocopy. Well, so we were photograph. taking a photocopy with the phone and obviously uploading it on our system. So phone, photograph, straight into the system against the spreadsheet number. Yep, and then putting it in the, um, and then the key, in box. key box. Mm -hmm. And that was about it. <laughs> How long did that take? It started around about half eleven. And what time is it now? It's half, half three. three. All right, so that's taking two of you four hours to key audit. And you're not quite finished yet, but not far off? No, no. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> why, why is it important to do a key audit? Um, safety reasons, if we're broken into, then yeah. the addresses aren't with the key. Yeah. Um, and it could invalidate insurance as well. So making sure that they're numbered and it doesn't have the address anywhere near them. Yeah. And so that's safety for us, for the tenants, and for our insurance. Yes. Yeah. Great. Um, why do you take a photograph of the keys? Because I, I was I was behind you going, oh, that's interesting. So why are you doing that? <laughs> um, it's just uh, another kind of backup measure. If the tag comes off the keys, um, we can quickly go through and just have a look and see which keys match up. Got you. Also, once yeah. tenants have got keys, you take a picture of the uh, keys that the tenants have got. Yeah. And when the keys come back in, then you can match them up and make sure that they haven't kept any keys. Oh, that's a great idea. So we actually haven't done that in the past, mm -hmm. matching up that they haven't kept any of the keys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and could you just talk briefly about the key system we've got? We've got a couple of master key systems. That's you. <laughs> yeah, um, so we've got two master key systems. Um, the reason why we've got two is because we had one locksmith which weren't reliable, so we then put it on another master key system. So the joys of working with yeah. builders and trades guys, most of them are good, but this one we just found was really slow, yeah. um, really unorganised. And we were too nervous to continue working with them. Really, yeah. We we felt that long term it wasn't going to work. Exactly. So you put it onto, but we weren't going to go backtracking. No. So second key system. Yeah. And what is a master key system for somebody that's never used one before? So basically, uh, the master key will open up all the property properties. Yeah. Um. So you can just have the one key and it opens up all of the um ones that you want it to open. So I've got, on my home lock, I've got two master key systems and I can go into any room in any of my properties. That's right. But for a tenant, do you give them the master key or what do you give them? They just have a key which opens the front door and their bedroom yeah. and the back door. You might just move me slightly louder. Um, sorry, it <laughs> open, um, the tenants will have a key which opens the front door, yeah. their bedroom door and the back door. And so it's just quite a, spe a yes. system that that allows them to open the front yes. door, the back door, and their door, but not other any other tenants. doors. Yeah. Yeah. And yet we, and then you can also have cleaner keys which open the. It's front just the communal area they can get into. Yeah, and we don't actually work with cleaners because our tenants keep their properties clean themselves, but a lot of landlords do. Yeah. So then the cleaners can't go into the tenants' rooms. Yeah. So obviously there's a, se a security issue, not an issue, but a security measure there. That's they right. can just do front door and back door. Yes. And um, we implemented this last year. And I think the spend was about eleven. Grand. Yeah. So that. it was a no fun spend from me. On yeah. That one. Mm -hmm. So have you got anything else that you'd like to add about keys, safety, um, and your experiences so far? It's apart important <laughs> to have keys. <laughs> apart from the fact that you're loving being on video. <laughs> um, I haven't got much to say really. Um, Just uh, making sure you do a regular key audit. Making yeah. Sure we still have keys. Yeah. And How contractors that come in, signing them out. And when yeah. With a the signing book. Sign in. Yeah. So we've got a constant track of where the keys are. So sign out, sign in, but for contact mm -hmm. contractors. And how often would you suggest doing a key audit? Um, I would probably do it once every two weeks. Once every two weeks mm -hmm. uh, for the lettings team. Yeah.
grand. Thank you very much, and thank okay. you. And despite you both going, no way! <laughs> thank you for being on video. It's all right. <laughs> Bye.